Let's draw the Lewis structure of lithium iodide. First thing to note, lithium is on the left-hand side of the staircase. It is a metal. Iodine is on the right-hand side of the staircase. It's a non-metal. That means that when they get together, they are going to form an ionic compound because there will be a transfer of electrons, not a sharing. So lithium is in group one, it's in the first column, and has one valence electron for that reason. So I'm gonna draw my Li and put one dot around it. Iodine, on the other hand, is in group 17, one electron shy of having a full outer shell. So that means it has seven valence electrons. I'm going to put it down there. Now, lithium has one extra valence electron, more than it needs. Iodine is one short. So this electron moves from the metal to the non-metal, the way electrons almost always move. And that's going to satisfy the octet rule for each. Iodine will have a full eight. Lithium will have none in what was its outer shell. So its new outer shell is the full one underneath that's not shown. But let's draw the actual Lewis structure. Lithium now has no, well, it gave away its one electron, so I'm not gonna draw an electron around it. But because it gave away an electron, it becomes an ion, an ion with a positive one charge. The square brackets show that it's an ion. This written in the top right corner shows its charge. Iodine now has eight electrons. It had seven. Now I'm going to make sure it has eight dots around it. It's also an ion because it has an extra electron. That charge is minus one. This in red is the complete Lewis structure of lithium iodide. Thanks for being with me. Best of luck.